Another way you might want to create a new variable is to create it based on several variables instead of a single variable. So for example, we might be interested in how everyone did on these quizzes as a whole rather than each individual quiz. So we could create a new variable called, you know, quiz mean that is the mean for each of these quizzes. So to do that, you go into transform and then compute variable. The dialog window that pops up here is pretty much exactly like a calculator. So you basically type this kind of formula up here where the target variable is equal to the name of the new variable you want SPSS to create. So I'm going to go ahead and call this quiz mean. In here, you can type the formulas if you know them, or you can simply add variables in and, you know, times or add them together like this. But the recommended way to do this is to use the functions. All of the functions are listed here. We're going to be using the ones that are listed in statistical functions, and that will give you uh, these specific functions down here. You will be concerned with uh, the mean or the sum, usually. So in order to use one of these functions, you just have to select it and press this up arrow to move it up into the formula area. So this will give you basically the format that you need to follow when entering the variables. Right now, you can see that it has two question marks. So it's got room for two variables. But if you wanted to add more variables, you can just continue this format or this way of adding new variables. So I'm going to highlight this first um, question mark and then move over quiz one. Highlight the second one and move over quiz two. And now there's no more questions, question marks left, but I can simply follow the format that I want SPSS to use. Okay, so here we have, um, as, we're asking SPSS to create a new variable called quiz mean that is equal to the mean of all of these variables. So for each participant, it will calculate a new value based on uh, the quizzes that the participants have completed. If you were to write this in yourself, saying quiz one plus quiz two plus quiz three and so on divided by the number of quizzes, this would create slightly inaccurate values because um, it would always divide by five quizzes. Some participants may have only done three quizzes or four quizzes. So when you use the formula, it'll take into account the fact that all participants may have different number of quizzes, so their mean will be more accurate. To run this, you can just press OK. And SPSS will not um, give you any output, but it will list quiz mean at the end of your data set. So I'm just going to move quiz mean to the end of the quizzes. And it's always a good idea to double check and make sure that you've calculated this properly. To do that, you could just calculate what the mean of these quizzes would be and see if it matches up with your quiz mean. So that is how you create a new variable based on multiple variables using SPSS.